So if I had to, to narrow them down, I would say that locks must amplify the message that there are plenty of investment opportunities in climate actions in Africa. Um, support is needed, however, to turn those climate policies, plans and targets into concrete projects and pipelines. And cities now have an opportunity to couple recovery from COVID to creating resilient and future-proof infrastructure. So that would be the first one. The second one I would say is if locks can help cities understand the climate finance landscape and highlight the financial mechanisms and tools that are within their reach to accelerate climate action implementation within their cities. The third one, and I'll make this one my last one, if LOCS can gather the relevant stakeholders in the room to discuss the key steps that are required to break down the climate finance barriers that cities face, that would already be a huge win.